The problem with the sister swap films is that whichever one you watch first, it's going to feel incomplete or it's going to feel like there's a lot of padding and a lot of irrelevant scenes that don't make sense and which are not needed to tell a particular story. That's because of the very nature of these films. And I really, really did not like Sister Swap A Hometown Holiday. That's the first one that I watched. So I was very hesitant about watching Sister Swap Christmas in the City, but I'm pleased to say that I enjoyed it quite a bit more. I think that's partly because it's a better story and I think it's better edited. It doesn't jump around quite as much as the other one did. But I also think it's because I I was able to fill in the gaps. And I'll explain what I mean by that in a moment. There won't be any spoilers for this film or the other one. I won't go into any spoiler details, but I will go into a little bit of detail about how they're connected. So this was released in 2021. It's directed by Sean McNamara. And it's written by Eric Patterson, Jessica Scott, Claire Boyles, and Zach Hug. And it stars Ashley Williams as Meg. And we also have Kimberly Williams Paisley as her sister, Jennifer. Now, Meg is the protagonist in this film. Jennifer was the protagonist in A Hometown Holiday. And basically, they're telling two separate stories, but every now and then the sisters will... Uh, discuss that they're sisters in the films as well as in real life. For example, in the other film, Jennifer has gone home for the holidays. And in this film, Meg has actually stayed behind and is staying at Jennifer's and working at Jennifer's restaurant, helping the restaurant to prepare for this contest that they're entering. They've basically swapped lives temporarily. And in the first film, it just... it Because... I think because Jennifer was going home for the holidays and she was with her parents and other people who she already knew, it didn't feel like she was stepping into somebody else's life. Whereas this one works a little bit better because Meg is actually stepping into her sister's shoes. She's even wearing her sister's clothing. So that part of it felt like more of a believable swap. And Meg was meeting new people, interacting with people who her sister normally interacts with. That all worked really well and is a much better narrative than the other one. And I feel like the restaurant setting worked really well. We had some really nice Christmas elements. And I also found Meg to be the much nicer character. Jennifer irritated me quite a bit. Even when Jennifer's in this film, which is not that frequently... There's something about the character that I don't like. So, absolutely, Christmas in the City is the better narrative. In my opinion, Meg is also the better protagonist. And it's better edited. But, all that being said, with me being more positive about the film, I need to refer back to my earlier comment, where I said the first one that you watch is going to feel like a less complete narrative. And that's absolutely the case. Had I watched this one first, my opinions might actually be not reversed, but certainly I might feel less favourably about this one and I might prefer the other one a little bit more because we do get little glimpses of the story focusing on Jennifer. But because I've already seen that film, I know how that develops. I know how that part of the narrative concludes. I can picture all of that film in my head and fill in the gaps and answer the questions that this film raises, but it relies on the other film to answer those questions. Similarly, had I watched this one first, I would have been able to watch the other one and then fill in the gaps myself with that one. So I do think that while I preferred this one, and I do think it is a better story and better edited, my opinion is elevated slightly because it felt less incomplete. Because the bits of it that would have felt incomplete, I was able to complete because I'd already seen the previous film. I hope that makes sense. So it raises the question, should a film rely on another film to be good? Now, when it comes to sequels and things, I think, yes, perhaps. But should this film rely on you having seen the other film to be fully enjoyed and vice versa? Well, I feel like it's creative. It feels like a bit of an experiment. And I have to say, as an experiment, it doesn't really work. Because, as I said, the first film, or the first one that you watch, is going to feel incomplete. 
and you might not have the ability to watch the other film. I watched the other one a couple of months ago and Christmas in the City was not available for me to watch at the time. I couldn't find it anywhere. It is now on the Hallmark Channel on Amazon Prime. It might have been there before, but I wasn't at that time subscribed to the Hallmark Channel, whereas the other one was just on regular Amazon Prime. So I didn't have the ability at the time, or I couldn't find the other film, so I was only able to watch one of the films, and I didn't enjoy it. So is that fair? Am I allowed to say it's a bad film? Because I wasn't able to watch the other film and judge them as a package. I will say that there's not that much repetition. So even though they're both detailing both sisters' journeys, with obviously more focus on one sister or the other, depending on which film you're watching, there is some crossover with the scenes that we get, but not a tremendous amount. So that part of it I thought worked well. But unfortunately, unless you're able to watch both of them, it doesn't work very well. And whichever one you watch first, I think will be the worst experience because it will just feel incomplete. You'll have a lot of questions. It'll feel like there's a lot of irrelevant content, a lot of irrelevant scenes that don't need to be there. And then obviously, if you can't watch the second film to fill in those gaps and answer those questions, it just seems pointless and badly done. As I said, Christmas in the City does feel slightly better edited. It doesn't jump around quite as much. So in my opinion, it's the better of the two. But again, I am aware that had I watched this one first, that opinion might be slightly different. I'd love to know what you think of it, depending on which one you watched first. And if you think your opinion would be different, if you'd watched them the other way on. Personally, I'm I like this better than expected. Based on the first film, I wasn't expecting much from Christmas in the City. It was definitely better than I'd anticipated. But I certainly won't be watching it again. Do I recommend them? For one of two reasons. If you've seen one of these sister swaps, I would say definitely watch the other one. Because it will be a better experience than the first film that you watched. I'm pretty confident with that. The other reason I'd watch it or recommend watching it is if you can watch both of them. If you only have access to one of them just now, don't watch it because it will be so frustrating to get bits of a story that seems irrelevant or that seems incomplete and then not being able to watch the other film to fill in those gaps. It, it's been frustrating for a couple of months and then I finally discovered this on Hallmark on Amazon Prime and I watched it and yeah better than expected as an experiment I think they might have had fun creating it but as a viewer I didn't particularly think it worked very well at all 